Hello, today we are going to learn about dysmenorrhea or painful menstrual cramps. Dysmenorrhea is a medical condition characterized by severe menstrual cramps during the menstrual period. It affects many women of reproductive age, with some experiencing the discomfort from the onset of menstruation, while others may develop it later in life. Dysmenorrhea can have a significant impact on a woman's quality of life, affecting her physical, emotional, and social well-being. Types of Dysmenorrhea There are two types of dysmenorrhea, primary and secondary. Primary dysmenorrhea is menstrual cramps that occur without any underlying medical condition. It is usually caused by the release of prestaglandins, hormone-like substances that trigger the uterus to contract during menstruation. The pain usually begins a day or two before the menstrual period and may last for several days. Secondary dysmenorrhea, on the other hand, is menstrual cramps that occur due to an underlying medical condition. It usually occurs later in life and may persist beyond the menstrual period. Causes of secondary dysmenorrhea include endometriosis, uterine fibroids, ovarian cysts, pelvic inflammatory disease, and adenomyosis. Symptoms of dysmenorrhea The most common symptom of dysmenorrhea is menstrual cramps. The pain is usually felt in the lower abdomen or back, and it may range from mild to severe. Other symptoms include Nausea and vomiting Diarrhea Headaches Fatigue Dizziness Fainting Diagnosis and treatment If you experience severe menstrual cramps, it is important to see a healthcare provider for proper diagnosis and treatment. Your provider may perform a physical exam, pelvic exam, or imaging studies to determine the underlying cause of your dysmenorrhea. Treatment for dysmenorrhea depends on the underlying cause. For primary dysmenorrhea, treatment usually involves over-the-counter pain medications such as ibuprofen or naproxen. Hormonal birth control may also be prescribed to reduce the amount of prostaglandins produced by the body. For secondary dysmenorrhea, treatment depends on the underlying cause. For example, if the cause is endometriosis, treatment may involve surgery or hormonal therapy to remove or shrink the abnormal tissue. Uterine fibroids may be treated with medication or surgery. Lifestyle changes can also help reduce the symptoms of dysmenorrhea. Regular exercise, a healthy diet, and stress-reducing activities such as yoga or meditation can help manage the pain. Conclusion Dysmenorrhea is a common condition that affects many women of reproductive age. While primary dysmenorrhea is usually a benign condition that can be managed with over-the-counter pain medications and lifestyle changes, secondary dysmenorrhea requires proper diagnosis and treatment. If you experience severe menstrual cramps or other symptoms during your menstrual period, seek medical attention for proper diagnosis and treatment. With proper management, dysmenorrhea can be managed, allowing you to live your life without the pain and discomfort of menstrual cramps. Thanks for watching.